Oh, yes. And now he leaves. <laughs> yeah. He'll be back. Don't want to be recording. Yeah. <laughs> he knew you turned the recording on, so he thought he'd leave. Yeah. Seriously, he'll be back in a few minutes. Seriously. <laughs> Morning, Nancy. Morning. Yeah, I was appreciative of Steve offering to come with me. I, I wasn't really looking forward to rattling around in here by myself, so... It's nice to have at least one other warm body here. John. Good morning, John. How are you? Good morning. You're always the best dressed gentleman in the crowd uh, with your tie and suit coat and all that. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a habit I developed a long time ago. I've continued. <laughs> Do you carry a handkerchief in your suit coat pocket? Uh, no, I have a couple, but I, I don't carry it anymore. <laughs> we were at a funeral uh, a couple weeks ago, and a fellow our age and I were talking, and he goes, do you have a, you know, at the funeral, he goes, do you have a handkerchief in your inside coat pocket? And I go, yeah, for weddings and funerals. <laughs> yeah, not for me, but for somebody else that I might be sitting with. Right. Always good to have a spare just in case. <laughs> My dad taught me to do, so I do it. <clears throat> so what remodeling happened this week, Chipper? Uh, the back bedroom is completely stripped. And now he's getting ready to put up the uh, drywall. It's where my office will be. <laughs> I can office? get out of the, Yeah, I can get out of the kitchen. <laughs> I like all the plants in the room you're in now. Thank you. I have them wintering over in here. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are all closed in on the sun porch so that the cat can't get in them. I don't know whether she's ever going to outgrow her need to dig in the plants or not. Uh, I had to put aluminum foil in for Monty and oh. so he wouldn't get in them and dig around. I don't, I think I know what he was up to, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Might have decided he found an alternate litter box. And... Yes. Mm -hmm. Right now, he's eating one of the plants in the kitchen window. <laughs> as long as he doesn't eat any of the ones that are poison, why well, he's all right. Mm -hmm. Vegetarian cat. That's it. He's, he's your cat, for sure. <laughs> Good morning, Norma. Says so she's connecting to audio. Maybe she can't hear us yet. Norma. Morning, Norma. <laughs> Norma. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be seeing us and responding to us. No. That's interesting because she asked me a couple Quaker. Of, she asked me a couple of weeks ago if we had seen her join because nobody had said hi and all that. And, and I thought to myself, I think we did, but maybe it was before she could hear us. So maybe she's got something else going on since she's not responding today. Sue. Morning, Sue. Good morning. Morning, Thanks, everyone. Good morning. So we're not having Sunday school today. No, we're not having Sunday school. We have monthly meeting. I'm ahead. I've read my I read my assignment. It's a miracle. Yeah. It made me think it made me think of Jeremiah the Bullfrog making some fine fine wine. 
<laughs> yeah, well, yeah, save that I, thought for next week. <laughs> morning, Dan and Sylvia. <clears throat> morning. Good morning. If you arrested, Lynn? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's okay. That's what Sunday afternoons are for. <laughs> Well, I, I, wrote a, I wrote, a note, I wrote a note for Norma. Yeah, I, I hope she can. Uh, oh, the, uh, see you, Norma. Yeah, uh, I, she Norma. does seem to be seeing and hearing. <laughs> Looking at your books behind you, Sylvia. If, what you, what's your question? I said, I'm looking at the books behind you. Uh huh. And if you come across a book by a fellow named Kevin Brockmeyer, I forget yeah. the title. It's a collection of short stories that I lent to Dale. Oh. And if it's on there anywhere, I kind of like to have it back because it's autographed. <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't remember ever seeing it. That's, that's it's fine. Good, is it? <laughs> it may have gotten displaced, but. I was thinking about that book the other day, so. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, usually I would see it, but I haven't. Yeah, it's, it's a little uh, that thin. doesn't mean I, I have found some other books as I've rearranged things and condensed um, the space. Because yeah, we I've noticed there's empty shelves. <laughs> but for, for the McConaughey's to add their books if they want to. Uh, but I, I've not seen that. But we've written down the name and take a look. I get the title of it, but it's a collection of short stories. Okay. He's an interesting guy. I have seen other books on the shelf that I don't have any idea where they came from or why they're here. But yeah. <laughs> are, are we looking? For, are we looking for a big book or a little book? Or? It's, it's medium to short. <laughs> It's okay. not very big. It's a paperback. Oh, okay. Yeah. Norma, can you see and hear us now? Okay, you're muted, but you're at least responding. So that's good. No, okay. We see you and can't hear you because you're on mute, but. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. It's a miracle. It's a... <laughs> Norma, may I stop by uh, later this morning and drop off um, the Barnet quilt? Uh, I will be at Valley Mills, Valley Mills until noon. Noon. Okay. Would, would it be all right at sometime early afternoon to drop that off for you? Absolutely, yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Morning, Heselmans. Good, Good morning. morning. Nice to see you here a lot. <laughs> it's kind of convenient because we still have a half an hour to get to Mooresville, so. Yeah, yeah. Good. Morning, Sue Hagen. Good morning. Did you get out and shovel snow yesterday? Well, I have a very nice uh, neighbor. It's uh, uh, Dick Egan, and he shovels the snow for me. So your he did. He did do that. Your neighbor is Dick. Yeah, he lives oh. about three doors down. Oh, that's nice. I believe he was Brother Dave's classmate at Plainfield. Oh, okay. A few years back. <laughs> A couple, three, maybe. <laughs> and he's your cousin, right? Right. Yeah. I wonder where well, he I didn't hear. today. I didn't you hear Dan and Sylvia. How much snow did you get? Don't know. Oh, you're here. How much is it in Iowa? Uh, <clears throat> we're we're in Indiana. Uh, my tenant sent a note. He said about 
eight inches <clears throat> and it drifted badly and the roads were closed and there was ice underneath. Uh, okay. <clears throat> but we're, we're missing that because we're in Mooresville till Tuesday. Uh, okay, good. Good. So was Steve Mills able to get his crops in? Uh, I was. We finished on December 14th. All righty. Good. I've been smiling ever since. <laughs> <laughs> the latest we can remember finishing in a long, long time. There's still a little down at the end of the road here. They got most of it done, but way back in the corner, back where the kids uh, uh, paint the the road by the interstate. <laughs> we call that uh, graffiti road. Yeah, graffiti road. There, there were still some crops uh, when I drove by on Thursday. Granddaughter Morgan, when she was a senior at Decatur, uh, told her dad about this mysterious place way out in the country where kids went and spray painted their names on the road. <laughs> that property she was rather shocked when her daddy knew exactly where she was talking about <laughs> I used to walk that way sometimes and I loved it when I saw one day some newly fresh paint says something like Johnny loves Susie and two days later when I walked again it was all scratched out said not Johnny does not love Susie <laughs> 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 morning, Dave. Morning, Dave. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. Dave's almost up here. We were driving out that road in the MG one day, and uh, these two women. A little bit younger than us, but not a whole lot. With uh, uh, they were walking their dogs out there, and uh, I slowed down and asked them if they were the ones who who'd been painting all over the road, and I thought that that was rude. <laughs> <laughs> and I said they love to take that walk just to see what's new. <laughs> Who's written spray painted something new there? But it's getting longer and longer more and more paint on it but it's been what five years since they repaved it and and i thought oh that's going to make some people really upset and it wasn't six months before it was all covered up again with with new graffiti and most of it's decent yeah most of it <laughs> <laughs> Lynn and Steve are in the meeting house. Would you forget to pay your heating bill at home? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm playing the piano today. And so Steve kindly offered to come with me so I wouldn't rattle around in here by myself. Good. Also supervising the grandsons clearing the walk. Uh, I walk okay. Well, thank them for us. We appreciate that. I will do that. How much snow do you have there? Just enough to be a nuisance. That'd be an inch or more. Because there's ice underneath it. That's the real problem. That's okay. No, it's not even an inch. <laughs> the big storm went around Indiana. You're not I guess, sorry, are you? <coughs> no. I guess Charlotte, North Carolina is getting beat up with snow today. Looks like it. Yeah. Supposed to blow through here this, this afternoon, but probably without snow. <laughs> they say gusts to 60 mile an hour winds. Ooh. Well, it's uh, time to uh, begin. Are there, um, you know, for an announcement, we have monthly meeting at 1045. So uh, there's a separate link for that. So if you can rejoin, that would be 
really good. Uh, are there joys or concerns to share uh, this morning before we send her down? I had a question for Lynn. Are some of those hymns taken out of the Friends General Conference hymn book or are they all? Yeah, some of them are out of the Quaker uh, hymn book, the worship and song, and some of them are out of the, the regular uh, <clears throat> green one that we have here in the meeting house. Right. Well, I have a copy of the green one, so I didn't know whether to try to follow along on some of them or not. Looks like almost all of them are from Sing Joyfully. Yeah, there are just a few that are from the worship and song. Right, okay. <clears throat> Loring, how is Ruth? Well, not not good. Can you elaborate? What can you say? What can you say? At 95? Well, on various uh, ailments, like not being able to get around very well at all. But, um, <clears throat> and we, Beth and I both took the, the uh, COVID test the other day because we have a few cold symptoms and so forth. And so we can't go over and see her right now. <clears throat> For those of you who know uh, Kathy Bryant at uh, Plainfield Friends, you know, she was in a car accident in this early December and then uh, was pretty banged up and so went to rehab center and there she's contacted COVID. So uh, might hold her in God's healing light and love. She's having a, so she can't have any visitors. And uh, Kathy Clendenning had just been there to visit her the right before she was. Uh, Kathy Bryant was diagnosed with COVID, so now Kathy Clendenning is isolating. So. I haven't heard anything from uh, Dan Berger this week, um, good or bad. So last we, I heard we, he was we doing had a well. Visit with him. We had a visit with him on Thursday and thought he was doing quite well. He, he took Dan on, on a tour of his um, treasures in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's hardly anything there. Um, well, Lynn is the worship leader today, so I invite you to uh, uh, mute your uh, microphone so that the music can be heard a little bit better, and um, then Lynn will lead us the rest of the time during this semi-program part. Well, for the past month or so, as I've been thinking about a theme for the music today, I've kept coming back to the idea of light. Brent spoke of that a couple of weeks ago, and um, it just keeps sticking with me. So I suppose that that's probably not a surprise that light is a theme in my mind at this point. If you read my column in the newsletter this month, you know that that focused on light. And we're also in the darkest time of the year right now. Uh, so our need for physical light is even more obvious to us than it might be some other times of the year. Now, as I started thinking about light, I was thinking more about metaphorical light, as, such as uh, um, our relationship to God or Jesus and how that brings light into our lives. And the hymns that came to mind for that, of course, were Heavenly Sunshine, and sunshine in my soul. I will play those today, but as often happens when I go looking for a theme, 
there aren't enough songs on that theme to fill up the time uh, that I'm supposed to fill up. Sometimes when that has happened in the past, I have just played the hymns that I thought went with the theme and then I've stopped. And we've had a little more unprogrammed worship uh, during that first half hour. But I've gotten some feedback from people that suggest that more music and less quiet during the first half hour would be appreciated. Um, we have the second half hour for unprogrammed worship. So I broadened my theme a little bit. Uh, today. Um, we will be looking at uh, light in that metaphorical sense that I mentioned earlier, but I'm also going to play hymns that talk about physical light um, and um, how uh, God puts the physical light in our lives as well. Since I emailed you with the list of the hymns and their page numbers, I hope that you follow along if you'd like to. As you listen to the wisdom and the beauty expressed in these hymns, I hope that you will find your eyes wider open to the glory of God around you and your hearts warmed by God's presence in your lives.
to end. Uh, let us, uh, for those who can stay, continue for a period of continued unprogrammed worship. We'll bid uh, God's blessings on those who have to leave, and we hope to see everybody back at 1045 for a monthly meeting uh, for business. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks, Lynn. You're welcome. Nice music this morning. It was pretty quiet last week. Good to see everyone.
If uh, all hearts are clear, we'll end this time of worship together. Um, and so we hope to see you in a little while for monthly meeting. We'll have a little break here. And it's good to see everyone. Good to see you. See you soon. See you soon.